Hi guys, my name is Ima and I make videos about Eurovision. So if you like that kind of stuff, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any video. I wanted to make this video to get something out of my chest and that's all the injustices that take place in Eurovision, like you know, songs not going through the semi-finals. I also wanted to have you participate in this video, so I asked on Twitter which your favorite non-qualifiers were and I included some of them in my top, so let's see. In my number 10 we find Verona and I don't really like this song because it is way too cheesy for me but I have to say that it is actually very catchy and I also remember that they had some technical issues during the semi-final so it was an, an injustice. I had to include this song in my top 10 because I know it is a very big uh, fan favorite and that a lot of people were disappointed when this didn't qualify. Number 9, Same Heart. And again, I don't really like this song, but I do enjoy better the studio version of this song. And I also know that a lot of people love this song and they wanted it to qualify, so here it is. Number 8, Eu Quero Ser Tua. Oh, oh, oh. And this song was a huge fan favorite, at least here in Spain. And it is still a very big fan favorite and I don't get why this didn't qualify because the song is catchy as hell. Number 7, Hear Them Calling. People were so mad when this song didn't qualify and I really get it, like the performance was great, the staging was great too. We don't know what went wrong with this but the only thing that comes to mind when I think about it is that some people said that this song was like a copy of Little Talks from of Monsters and Men, but I don't think so. They also said that it was a copy of the previous winners staging. Number six. Okay, I'm sorry for that. This song had everything to shine. It was ethnic, different, it had a very authentic staging, like it had everything but still didn't qualify. Don't ask me why because I don't know. Number five, track which below. This is such a powerful ballad. I don't know how it didn't qualify because it is actually very beautiful. This is the last song that Israel has sent to Eurovision completely in Hebrew. Then number four. Party chef, party chef, fire of love. <laughs> okay, so... And you know this is a huge injustice because they actually qualified for the grand final but due to a um, mistake with the votes like they, I don't know what they did last year with the votes but it was a mess and this song ended up not qualifying which is a um, shame because it, it was really good so please hashtag justice for Tulia number three Working out When Armenia didn't qualify last year, we were all shook. Like, how did that happen? We were expecting Armenia to go through the semi-finals because this song was very good, it had a great production, she can sing very well, but the thing is, she lacks some charisma on the stage her vocals also weren't that great in the first half of the song, so I don't know, I guess she was nervous. Number two, even though nobody was expecting this song to qualify, it was still a bit shocking when it didn't qualify, 
because it was a very sensitive song, it was beautiful and the staging, everything was so magical and so beautiful it was touching and even haters liked it so it was very unfair for this not to qualify and finally we made it to the number one injustice and it is no other than Telemo Beige Girl, I can't The fans of this song had a lot of faith that this song would qualify but in the end it didn't but at the end, they didn't! <laughs> and I get it, like this song wasn't for everybody due to its complex meaning, its uniqueness, the staging... But come on, this was a piece of art and juries should have appreciated it. And it makes me mad that they didn't. So that was my top 10 and also part of yours. And, and I want to thank all the people who answer me on Twitter. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe down below so I can see you in my next video. Bye!